All right. Now, we're talking about the five types of people groups in the kingdom of God. Say the five, five types, types of people groups, of people groups in, the of in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God revolves around the royal priesthood and it revolves around you. I'm going to say it again. The kingdom of God and the royal priesthood are like wet and water, smoke and fire. You can't separate them. How do you think David did what he did? He was royalty. He was both king and priest. Samuel came to anoint a king while the other king was still king. You ain't supposed to do that. But God's ways are not man's ways. Right? How do you think David was able to go into the temple and eat the bread and not die? That's what I think that activated his priesthood. How do you think he was able to kill Goliath without being trained? The Bible says that they sung songs about Saul slayed his thousands and David slayed his ten. David was only 17 years old ain't killed nobody. How is that possible? Because he was in the royal priesthood. They were acknowledging his kingdom authority and deity and nature and a type already. See, the kingdom of God and the royal priesthood revolves around you, your calling, your gifting, your God-given assignment, your future, your family, establishing a legacy or your legacy and your role and your rights in the kingdom of God. There are mysteries in the kingdom. These mysteries can only be known by revelation. The church is not like the, the church is not the kingdom, and being a church member does not automatically make you a kingdom representative. The church is just a part or a piece of the kingdom. The kingdom is made up of both the kingdom of heaven, the unseen realm, and the kingdom of God or the seen or earthly realm. Okay? Allow the revelation of God to reveal the mysteries of a kingdom and open up new doors of opportunity for you to walk in fullness, exercise dominion, and fulfill your assignment. Okay? He said in Matthew 16, 19, and I will give you the keys. He was talking to these five types of people groups of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed and established in heaven. In other words, we will recognize what you recognize down there because we've already recognized it up here. <laughs> Don't ask us to do nothing. We've already done it. It's on you now. In order for something to start, something new has to end, right? For the, for the, for, for the, for the new year to come, the old year must come to an end. You can get into 2015 and declare it's 14, and, I, and that's all I'm going to honor. Okay. Try it. See how that works out for you. So we're talking about a new age order of the kingdom of God. The one thing people do not like is change. There are five subgroups within the royal family of God, right? Yes. They're right there. Right there. 1 Peter 2.9. But you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises, show forth the praises. You ain't got to go to church and somebody got to make you get up and praise God, but we're talking about going beyond that. People I'm talking about don't go to church to praise God. They go beyond that. That is the basics of who you are. He summoned you out of darkness. Because when he, when he, God Almighty summons you out, you, the devil can't go, you can't send you back. You have to go back willingly when he pulls you out. Wow, that's good. That's, good. that's why I talk about deliverance and living right. Because when, when he pulled me out, I went back. Through ignorance, stupidity. Why? Not because I couldn't withstand it, because I forgot what he summons me to do. Don't you ever go back there because you may not come back. I was close to not coming back. He summoned you out of darkness, which is ignorance physically, into his marvelous light called the kingdom. Yeah. You don't go, what the hell are you going to go back, there, back to? Do you realize if you get in the kingdom, where do you go? Because it's eternity. The world is waiting to see the royal priesthood. Wow. They ain't never seen it before. They ain't never seen it before. The only way the world is going to see the royal priesthood is through you. 
to your kingdom priesthood, to your government and God's kingdom? Why do you think they're fascinated with athletes, stars, entertainers, the, the royal family that showed up? Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, Le LeBron James? The, 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 the royal couple went to see the basketball game, and that fool had the nerve to put his arm around her. They say you ain't supposed to touch the royal family. The, the, the Europe went crazy. England went crazy because he, he broke etiquette by touching the woman of God or the woman of, you know. So when you get into it and you understand it, the, the world is waiting for you. They'll prefer you before anybody else. Who's that person? I don't know, but something different about them. My wife and I were getting served one time at a, at a, at a, at a Popeye's chicken. This white lady was about hurting herself to serve us. I said, do you know what you're doing? I said, do you know who we are? She said, I, but you, she said, I don't know who you are, but you're somebody. I said, we represent the king of kings. You serving royalty right now. She said, woohoo! <laughs> we were in Florida one time, and I forgot my umbrella, y'all, and it was pouring cats and dogs, right? I'm driving. I done went into three places to find an umbrella. Couldn't find the umbrella. I went into this little store. I said, do you have any umbrellas? No! The guy was so rude and racist. The lady came from behind the counter. She said, I got one in my car. He looked at his coworker. Like, he, he said, are you crazy? She said, I'll go get it for you. He said, you don't even know these people. We just kept our mouth shut. She went to the car and she came back. I said, you know what you just did? You just blessed God's apostle and prophet. I said, I'm going to pray for you. I said, come from behind that counter. I said, God's going to deliver that crazy man that you love. <laughs> Lift the hands up. She starts weeping. Come on, looking like she's crazy. I said, because you gave God's governmental people an umbrella, I'm going to release this blessing on you. We got in the car. She was weeping. Thank you, mister. That's just the tip of the iceberg. These things that happen all the time. Jesus, will you come dine with us? Yeah. Jesus, can I serve you? One man was in the tree. Why? They had that was the first time they seen royalty like this before. Guess what's in you? Royalty. Here we go.